You know, I was that kid that had the bicycle rim, you know, nailed to a tree. That was the first one, but I remember back in the neighborhood, it was always sandlot basketball. And I can remember when my mom saved enough money to uh, have my uncle pour a concrete slab, and we had the best neighborhood games ever. And my place was the place to be. Well, I'm serious. It was like, you know, being in the, the, the playoffs and championship games. People were huddled around the fence. And you didn't want to lose a game because you had to wait about five or six games to have the next up uh, winning game. But uh, it was just fun. It was what I got to do when I finished my homework. So I got that homework done pretty quickly. AMA, we have about 2,000 people. And part of that was, you know, I was the kid that the entire community raised. So I had uncles, cousins, friends that made sure people who were doing bad stuff, don't do that mess around pokey. You know, she's gonna be the one that's gonna make it. And uh, they made sure there was always a place for me on a team to play. I think I was, yes, you have to be hard nosed, but I was smart because I was small and I was playing against guys. And I was really smart at picking a team because everybody wanted the shooter, but I knew who could rebound. And I wanted to stay on the court because I always had limited time. You know, it was just exciting when I took a step back or when I was older that they just saw me as pokey and I wasn't one of the girls. My younger self would probably say, you really are living the dream because when I was playing on those courts, this opportunity didn't exist. And if someone would have told me you're gonna be, you know, the general manager of a storage franchise and coaching in the WNBA and somebody's paying you for it, I would not have believed it. It means everything and we started to see that years ago, uh, just the opportunities and so many events when you come to one of these games. Uh, we, we're still grassroots so we can wrap our arms around fans and they remember it and they go home with it and they bring more fans and friends and family. But I think where we are now is you're starting to see young boys, you know, wanting to wear uh, WNBA players uh, jerseys.